As parents and educators, we want the best for our children, no matter what school district we live in. To achieve this goal, California has a new tool to help us understand how our schools and districts are performing across the state. It's called the California School Dashboard, and like a report card, it provides assessments on various priority areas for every school and district in California. The dashboard measures progress by looking at different performance measures known as indicators. The first four indicators are locally measured by each school district. The first indicator is basic conditions. We measure whether students have access to the latest learning materials, such as textbooks, and are learning in a safe and clean environment. Next is parent engagement. We check to see if parents are providing school input and are participating in school activities. The third indicator is implementation of academic standards, which shows whether districts are providing instruction to students in all content areas such as math, English language arts, and science. It also assesses whether districts are providing instructional materials for all students. The fourth is school climate. We check to see if students and parents feel connected to and safe in their schools. For each of these local indicators, the district will assess their progress using the assessments met, not met, or not met for two or more years. The following indicators are measured by the State of California and spotlight the performance of schools and school districts. First is chronic absenteeism. This is the percentage of students absent for more than 10% of the school year. Second is suspension rate which includes the percentage of students who are suspended at least once from school during the academic year. Next is graduation rate. This is the percentage of students who graduate with a high school diploma within four years. Then it's college and career, which lists the percentage of students prepared for both college and individual career paths after graduation. Next is English learner progress. This is the percentage of English language learners who improve each year in their English proficiency. The final measured indicators are English language arts and mathematics. Each measures the academic progress of students in third through eighth grade in literacy and math respectively. For each of these indicators, the state rates them on a color scale ranging from blue to red, with blue being the highest performance and red being the lowest. The dashboard combines both local and state information to give a complete picture of how individual schools and districts are performing. This new transparency will help schools improve faster and empowers us to be more informed about the specific needs of all students, ensuring that all student groups are successful. The new California School Dashboard moves beyond just looking at a single test score and allows you to have access to a more dynamic and detailed view of your child's school and district based on multiple measures.